Dyslexic dystopia. A psychological disorder characterized by the incorrectly distorted perception of our shared happily ever after. Things never really look right to me, but experts showed that I always twisted stuff up and out of order in my head. I guess I grasp events somewhat differently than what executives marketed as the actual reality. They told me that I pulled facts out of context and then got them turned around inside my head. Maybe I was really smart, but it was hard to tell since I was always scuttling off somewhere sideways. I saw corporate elders as furtive, short-sighted, self-centered sociopaths. Not as some type of wise and honest sages. It seemed like the media was made for advertising, with a few second-thought interruptions thrown in. Elected officials appeared to act solely for a vile self-aggrandizement and re-election, not for voters. I even thought arms makers commissioned boogeyman mongers to channel vast sums to themselves. Never got how venal consumer spending and real estate gambling could sustain any real economy. The word of God came to me as a cynical pyramid scam, not the one true way to an eternal paradise. Somewhere in my mind, I conflated this whack, expensive CO2 hoax with a reasoned working hypothesis. To me, flag-burning abortion, gay marriage, and creationism just weren't the most important societal issues. Evil saw as alive, dog was good, sacred was scared, and our patriotic burgers tasted like tortured remains. Cravenly, I twisted their purest private dialogues with personal behaviors into pagan comedy routines. Preposterously, our traditional family values felt like another recently ginned up ad campaign to me. My warped prism showed industry self-regulation as a cynical cover-up for smash-and-grab capitalism. I even mistook the ignored collateral damage of our divinely ordained progress for some kind of a mass extinction. The distorted lens of my condition wrongly showed a vast human overpopulation heading for a crash. I thought our spoiled and ignorant children's pre-mortgage futures did not look brighter than ours. I imagined costs for good air, clean water, and healthy forests where, by capitalist right, none existed. I viewed most of our useless noise as a pitiful attempt to hide from the threateningly frightful silence. Why, I even found ATVs, snowmobiles, and jet skis to ob be obesely wasteful, mindless, and destructive. I actually deluded myself into wackly believing that if all men were created equal, so were all species. I vainly wasted worry on non-issues such as soil erosion, habitat destruction, fouled water, and polluted air. A tiny minority shared a few of my delusions, but the same hued to a slick, mass-marketed gospel truth. Quite revealingly, I even found tiny, efficient vehicles to be comfortable and a real pleasure to own. My bizarre perceptions actually led me to stray from home equity and credit card lifestyle financing. I had this nasty illusion that any new energy source was jointly sabotaged by the media for big oil. Contrary to common sense, I did not believe faceless multinational globalization was our salvation. This condition left me unable to swallow the dogma of clergymen, politicians, or their talking heads. My twisted sensations morphed dignified religious figures into irrelevant cartoon charlatans. I even found myself believing we should preserve habitats and maintain our waters clean and alive. Unlike the truly patriotic, I couldn't flaunt a loud and aggressive pride in my illiteracy and ignorance. I had no blind faith in our ability con to control the emergent complexity of our spasmodic enterprises. Despite all evidence, I concluded that anger, hatred, and violence should not remain our natural state. Due to my malady, I thought we rapidly earned everlasting oblivion instead of some eternal paradise.